y'all say y'all believe in uh, open relationship, right? I I do. I I don't yeah. believe in being yeah. monogamous. Okay. How about you? I don't know why I believe in man. <laughs> but you date three women at a time. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure this shit out, man. Right, right. Yeah. You know? yeah. Are y'all seeing multiple women or are y'all comfortable in telling me that? Or, I mean, I'm sure if you believe that, you tell the women your relationship, hey. I yeah, so I'm, I'm yeah. straight up, man. I mean, y'all, y'all know my girl's here right now. My, uh, oh, okay. Shout out to Angie. She's here. Um, yeah, you got good taste. Huh? Yeah, hey, thank you. <laughs> you got uh, some damn good taste. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely. <laughs> he came in here with a damn dime. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that, man. But yeah, she helps me. So yeah. for her, right? She helps me on my true crime channel, Fed Reacts. Oh, okay. We do true our crime? cases together. Yeah. Yes, yeah. We we cover like we cover like the Trump case, the Diddy case. Oh, okay. We cover serial that. killers. I've never came across that. That's how I know Good. so much about like this stuff with like OJ and stuff because yeah. I like research these cases and I like give mm. a perspective from a former Fed. Mm -hmm. So people really enjoy that because I'm able to explain things mm -hmm. on a deeper level. Like, okay, this is how feds wiretap your phone. This mm -hmm. is how they get search warrants, et cetera. This is what happens okay. when you get arrested. These are how they interrogate. Mm -hmm. So people really enjoy getting my perspective on criminal cases. But she helps me with that stuff, and she's been a complete asset. Um, but I think for a lot of guys, what they don't do is they end up getting with girls that are liabilities, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, obviously your main girl is going to get different type of tension and different type of affection and like some <clears throat> random chick, right? Like, right. I, like, so the, I think it, it, I don't believe in monogamy because number one, you get bored. Let's be honest here. As a man, you get bored. Uh, number two, sexually, right? Uh, because we want variety, right? You want variety. Um, but at the same time, you're not gonna, your main girl handles all the emotional stuff where, you know, you're able to talk with her, have a deeper conversation, et cetera. You actually give a shit about her. Versus mm -hmm. like a girl that you're just like hooking up with. And for men, we're able to compartmentalize that. Right. Women aren't. That's why cheating is so unacceptable. It's difference based on feelings. Exactly. Because if a love. girl cheats on you, she's been checked out. Yeah. But for you as a man, like you could go smash another chick and love your girl. Like we're not like, we're not wired like you're like women. you hit it, gotta go. Yo, you know? keep it a thousand. Deuces. Yo, yeah. Yeah. when I smash a new chick, it makes me appreciate my girl more. I'm like, damn, that was useless. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> like, where's Angie? Look <laughs> at this, my girl, man. Fuck man, this. This bitch is was horrible. <laughs> Terror. She's a, the biggest thing is like I'm like damn it's annoying like like yeah. you know and then it makes you really appreciate your girl more I know that sounds funny as shit we laughing about it yeah. but it, it really is true so I mean I don't know that's that's kind of how I look at it but yeah. yeah would you ever stay in a relationship let's say you're married and your wife cheats on you would you stay in that relationship no fuck no no yeah it, it, she's it, it, she's done done with me because I, I look at it like there's some things that if a woman does it's it's unforgivable right so like for me as a man mm -hmm. if my girl's in danger. And I don't step up to protect her or save her. Mm -hmm. I deserve to be broken up with. I didn't ho hold my my duty. My duty is to protect and provide, mm -hmm. right? If I don't do my job, I'm a fucking idiot, and I deserve to be bro broken up with. Mm -hmm. How, uh, however, as a woman, her job is sexual fidelity. That's the number one thing that men care about mm -hmm. with females. Like, just don't be a mm -hmm. right. And if she doesn't, if she can't, if she fails that, she you, you gotta you gotta get rid of her. Same thing as if I fail my duty as a man to protect and provide. I deserve to be broken up with. I'm a firm believer in traditional gender roles, and I think men should provide for women. I don't think women should. Mm -hmm. I think if you're yeah, a man, my wife don't work. Yeah, like I think they should work electively. Like if they want to work a side job, whatever, cool, that's fine. Yeah, but they should not be paying the predominant portion of the bills. They shouldn't be struggling working 40 hours per week. Fuck that shit. Mm -hmm. To keep your woman nice, feminine, and happy, she yeah. shouldn't be working or right. entering the workforce. Yeah, when you have. Uh you know how things are so expensive nowadays. Especially with kids, bro. Yeah. Especially you, if you got kids, yeah, she yeah. better oh, not yeah. work. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, because it hurts your family. Yeah. The family unit. But today, man, uh, shit's so expensive. It's like it's forcing uh, couples to both work. And that puts a strain on the family because you push putting women in a, in a position that's not going to benefit them or their family or yeah. their husband. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, and we can blame on that with the cost of living soaring yeah. and everything else like yeah. that, which is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a genuine believer that uh, men are protectors and providers, and if you can't do that, you don't deserve to have a girl. Yeah. Like, if you're a brokey, why are you even fucking over here? Because you can't, like, because <clears throat> right. I've always said, like, right, there's guys out there that got game and can get girls, but they're broke. Well, what ends up happening, and this is why I say you got to have the full package. You got to be attractive, have your money together, et cetera. Because if you're just a good-looking guy and you got game, like, you might be able to smash some girls, but you ain't going to keep them. You're not going right. to be able to retain them. It's just right. a matter of time until some girl, if your girl's hot enough, it's just a matter of time until some other dude that got money takes your girl from you. Yeah. Right? And these simps be paying. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's keep it a thousand. Um, but at the same time, let's say you got money only, yeah. but you're a fucking sucker. Yeah. What ends up happening is she don't respect you. She's gonna want a guy that you know has the things, the qualities that you can't fulfill. Right? Maybe you're 
ugly or you're not attractive or whatever. Mm-hmm. She'll go get a guy that's a brokey that could fulfill that. So like what I've realized with girls mm-hmm. is like they're okay with compartmentalizing men if the guy that they're with doesn't give them everything that they need. Yeah. So you want to be the complete package to keep your girl faithful. And that's why it's so important to like really work on yourself. Like right. yeah. a lot of guys don't. They think I got a girl I could just like chill now. Fuck no. Yeah, that's the one thing I had learned the hard way. You can't get complacent with your woman. Yeah. Yeah, you get overly content with yourself and think you the shit. Oh, your girl's that night. Yeah. <laughs> and, and yeah, and another thing too I've noticed with girls is if, if you're like a strong guy, yeah. She will conform to you. Like if mm-hmm. you're if you're like a like a if you're a strong masculine guy, yeah. Let's say she's a Democrat. Your replica. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's say she was a Democrat when you met her. Yeah. She's going to be voting Trump if you do, right? right, right. You an Eagles fan? She's going to be an Eagles fan if you are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Girl, women typically tend to take on the traits of the most masculine person in, in their life, like the strongest masculine figure. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, it should be her dad, mm-hmm. right, when you meet her. It should be her father. Mm-hmm. Then once you uh, start dating her, then she starts to, you know, be more along your side. But if you're a traditional mm-hmm. guy, mm-hmm. you're probably going to emulate a lot of things from her dad anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and that's and that's that's a big thing I've noticed with girls. Like, I could tell immediately when a girl had a strong dad in her life or if she didn't, just from her behaviors, how she looks, how she responds to masculine authority. Is right. she combative to your authority and argue with you? More than likely, she grew up in a single-parent household with the mom being the head of the household telling her that men don't do shit. But if she grew up with a good dad, she understands men are leaders, men are protectors, men are providers. I'm going to listen to the man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, True. yeah, that's why I think that's, girls that don't got dads are... Yeah, that's, most of the time. Not all the time, but most yeah, of the time. That's facts right there. Big facts. <laughs> that's solid information right there.